Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11 Beta 6 to developers, and Public Beta 5 is out also right now. Now, there's a few changes throughout. The first thing I wanted to go over is it actually came in at 280.7 megabytes on my 7 Plus. It can vary depending on the device, but for me, that was the size. Let's take a look at the build number. The build number is 15A5354B. That should be the same for the public beta and the actual developer beta. The two different ones, even though they're on a different number scheme, the, they should be the same. Now there's a few things that they've changed visually and also some things you don't see. In this particular one, according to the notes, there's over 120 bugs that have been fixed. So that's a lot of things they've fixed. They're really kind of knocking this down. And this actually came out a week after the previous beta as we get closer to september where they normally release this to the public they start to release these on a weekly schedule we expected it to be next monday but right now it's out and you can check it out yourself now there were 120 bugs fixed and around 55 known bugs still exist so there's still some things they need to nail down some refinements that need to be made some of the changes they've made this time around have to do with the maps icon. You can see it looks a little bit different. If you look at your phone, it's going to look different than this. The clock icon has a little bit thicker text. It's a little bit bolder. Maybe this is for the OLED display that we expect on the next iPhone. We're not sure at this point. Also, the app store is changed and I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's more like they're building sticks or something with an A and that's throughout the OS. They've moved that icon uh, to look like this, all of these icons have been changed throughout the OS, and, and that's something new. The next thing that they've changed is the home screen animation. It zooms back in. We've seen this similarly before, but it wasn't on the previous beta, so that looks nicer, I think. Looks a little bit better. So if I go into settings, what you'll see is they've added some things to mail. They've added Siri and search notifications, and it's allow mail to access. So that's been added. They've also added some of those options into photos down here as well. Siri and search those suggestions. If we go into that, we can just toggle that on and off. So those are new. There's also a new password settings under the iTunes and app store. So if I go into here, these settings, if I go into this, there's nothing there. I don't have it. So maybe because I have family sharing on, it's not there. It's not on mine. Now wallpapers have been removed. So some of the new wallpapers we expect to be in iOS 11 when it comes out in the fall in September, but right now we don't have the fish icons anymore. So the fish wallpapers that were here, they're just not there. They removed them out of this beta. So those are gone. Also, there's a new splash screen in photos. So when you open photos for the first time, you get a splash screen and it just says what's new in photos. So I screenshotted it so you could take a look. Some people are seeing this in news and other apps as well. I only saw it in photos this time around. Now, one of the things that they've changed that some people don't understand that are aware of some of these changes have to do with display, the display and its brightness. Auto brightness is no longer under display and brightness. They've now moved it to accessibility. So if we go into general, we go to accessibility, then we go to display accommodations. We have auto brightness here. And I think the reason they did this is because by not having this on, you actually affect your battery quite a bit unless you're outside in bright sunlight. So having this on keeps your screen as dim as possible to save you battery life at the same time adjusting it as needed that's moved because of that i'm imagining that's why they've done that they haven't said why but it's here now now there's only a couple new changes other than that that are fairly major and they have to do with airplay and airpods now if you have airpods and you're setting them up for the first time you open these up near here the actual animation should be a little bit different. So it wants me to home, uh, press the home button on the back. I disconnected them to try this out. And some people are seeing a different animation when these open up. There we go. Now they're showing a different animation now that they're paired. So this is a little bit different than what you might have had before. And it's just new. The last thing that they've changed, and I haven't been able to get this to work, is AirPlay is now blue when it's being played. So if you go into music, maybe play a song like this, AirPlay it to something else. It should turn blue. I haven't been able to get it to do that. And that's maybe because the new beta that's out for Apple TV is not on my my Apple TV. So maybe that's part of that. But right now, I haven't been able to get that blue icon to show up. Supposedly, it shows up if you're air playing things. But right now, I don't see it. But that's one of the changes. So there's two changes I'm actually not seeing. I also, when I reopen my AirPods next to this, uh, they actually gave me no pictures. So there was nothing. Yeah, there, there you go. There's nothing there. 
and then they show up and it's doing some really weird things. So the beta still has some bugs in it, apparently, that we're just finding out right now. Now, battery life is always hard to determine unless you use it for a few days. And once you do that, then we can tell you what it is and be sure to check back for those videos. I always like to do follow up videos to give you an idea how the beta has been. Beta five was great until uh, probably today or yesterday where it started to give me a lot of bugs and I had to reboot my phone probably three times in the past two days. I don't know what happened over that time, but it just hasn't been great. Other than that, though, there are probably little tweaks here and there, but those are the major changes that you'll see if you're using this beta. And again, like I said, I expect the full version to be out in September for everyone to take a look at and use. And that will probably coincide along with iPhone 8. So be sure to check back for the follow up on this. I'll leave a link to the wallpaper in the description below. And if you found anything else, one thing I forgot to mention is they move the reminders dots back to the left. It's just something before it was on the right. Now it's back on the left. So other than that, though, nothing major going on. I did do a geek bench before we go. I wanted to show you that. Let me go back here. This is today's geek bench scores. For those of you that are keeping track, 3514 and 5986. Last time it was 5948. So we've increased a little bit and 3502. So or 02. So we've increased a little bit and they've tweaked the performance. I don't think you're going to see too much of that. So far, everything has been fast and snappy and everything is loading. Okay. Again, check back in a few days for that follow-up and let me know how it's going for you in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.